you could get a lot nicer shell for four to five thousand. This is OBO. Go deep on that OBO. Go deep on it, yeah. Like you really need to be like laughing at him. <laughs> like shaking your head every time you you look at anything on the car. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Can you believe it? And like everything you see stupid be like, was that previous owner? Was that the previous <laughs> owner? <laughs> You didn't do this, did you? Yeah, oh, did, no. that was the previous owner, right? Jesus. Previous owner must have been a fucking idiot for doing this. <laughs> Welcome back to Collector Car Feed. Today we're taking a look at an insanely high mileage 240SX on Bring a Trailer. Then we've got a nice mix of Facebook Marketplace 240SX listings found using collectorcarfeed.com slash cars, our Facebook Marketplace search tool. There's a truly cherry hatch in the mix, along with the usual shells, products, Projects and drift nightmares. Here we go. Bring a trailer sold for eight thousand dollars on January fourth, twenty twenty-three. No reserve. Nineteen ninety-two Nissan two forty SX SE Coupe five speed, and it had a hundred eighty-one thousand miles shown. True mileage unknown. They estimate it to be around four hundred thousand. Was that in the comments? What the? F in, that would that is in the fucking like that's what the seller Ooh. estimated it at. The speedometer and odometer remain broken. The seller reports that the car has approximately 400,000 miles. Dude. And the piston rings are shot, so it's so it's burning oil, and it won't pass California smog. My God. And they let this on Bring a Trailer. Yeah. <laughs> this is a pile, dude. And it sold for 18. It sold for $8,000. Oh, 8,000. Yeah, I said 18. Even still. I didn't know the thing about the 400K on this thing. My God, yeah. that is crazy. It has fantastic patina. Yeah. And it, for 400,000 miles, it looks great. But holy sh**. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let me see the underside of this thing. I mean, it's in Southern California, so maybe no rust. It's a California rust, car. Yeah. It must just feel like you're sitting down on top of a sponge when you get into this thing, dude. Like 400,000 miles. They didn't. This is as clean as they could get it for the photos. <laughs> that shit's not coming off. It's part of the wheel now. Yeah. At least they have nitrogen in the tires. The trans tunnel hole, or the hump, I should say. Look how wadded up this piece of shit floor mat is. <laughs> you can't even straighten out the floor mat? Yeah. Oh, here. Okay, yeah. Here. There it is. You, yeah, you, you yeah, can yeah, see right the there. red showing through, yeah. Yep. And, like, again, like, I know they all have it, but but how? You put your foot there? Like, like what's going on? Kind of like when you step in. Like, your foot just kind of winds up there. You touch it when you get in and out. Like, you don't think about it, but it happens. Like, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can still buy a... You can still buy carpet for these. Yeah, you can still buy carpet. Oh, and look, look, look. Sadly posted it. Sadly, was this after the auction ended? And I'm pretty sure it was, but if you look in podcast chat, there is... Yeah. So... I don't understand. Was this the, is this the bat seller not wanting to sell the car for 8000 and feels like it went too low? Or is this the buyer trying to sell the car? Well, it was like the day after it sold, right? Yeah, I think so. Tim316 sold it. The guy selling it on Facebook is named Justin. I, I don't know. I think that the guy on Facebook is probably just some bullshitter. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. Now, now that I see that, I feel like the Facebook guy didn't really want the car. <laughs> Like, he was like, oh, f I mean, you could sell this on Marketplace for eight grand, I would bet. Just don't bring up the 400,000 mile part. It, um, yeah. I don't know, man. Just It looks like, now that when you know that it has 400,000 miles on it, when you see stuff like this, it's like, oh, well, that just, this all makes sense. It's fine. But yeah, it, it, it's a car that has ran a lot. Yeah. And again, it's another testament to the K824 and the 240 itself if you just maintain it and don't be a complete idiot it'll run 400,000 miles we looked at a green one in a recent video and like the paint had completely come off of it it had like 180k on it or something like the entire body of it on that one you also said hey this one has pretty good patina and then the engine bay was immaculate kind of like this yeah yeah this engine bay's nice yeah and look it even has the foam on the damn radiator yeah well, most of it. Well, we'll yeah, like three there, quarters of it. Yeah. And then still has the, the factory heat shield that's still yeah. looking pretty decent. All the stuff that most people are just going to pull off and throw away is yeah. still on this car. Like Come with spider are. webs. Yeah. I, it wouldn't pass smog, and I think it just sat. Uh, yeah. I mean, it looks like a car with 400,000 miles. It's also very, very clean. Yeah. 
I thought it was just 180k on the clock and it sold for 8,000 and to me that signaled oh hey maybe uh maybe prices are finally coming down maybe this is that you know uh, market pop that we've been hearing about the for bubble, so long the bubble popping yeah but not yet 400,000 miles my pet peeve is is motherfucker selling 240s and they have the lights up in the picture he's only got it up in a few of them it's just to show that they work i think yeah, but a lot of them, it's like they're up the whole time. Yeah. Or people will drive with them up on purpose. Yeah, that's idiotic. That's, yeah, it's cringe I mean, fuck. it's kind of what the button's there for, though. It's, but it's so you can put them up in winter and not wear out the motors. I mean, that's what it says in the manual. And, like, to change your headlight. Yeah, that too. You're supposed to leave them up in winter. Like, if it snows or ices or something, that'll fuck up. Ah. Like, they can get frozen down, that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it just it looks yeah, like a... Yeah, Ken Lee says, I've never seen snow. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely correct. Oh, yeah, that's true. Necker's never seen... Necker's never had to think about this. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it's a 400,000 mile S13. That sold for $8,000. That bring a trailer allowed to be sold. Also. Yes, that bring a trailer said, yes, we will list this on our auction site. And also, you said that the piston rings are shot on it? Yeah. So it's burning oil, it's probably smoking, probably low on power. Wow. Won't pass smog, won't pass emissions. Power of the S chassis. The all new Subi Vape Sticker in 2023 Vape Meta is available now at collectorcarfeed.com slash store. Here's a 1995 Nissan 240SX SE Coupe for $19,000 six hours ago in Oxon Hill, Maryland with 18,000 miles. Bad rocker arms, currently not running, over $25,000 in receipts, everything professionally done, built SR20 DET, etc, etc. Has a windshield crack, wipers don't work, turn signals need to be checked, buying a house, need gone ASAP. $19,000 for a non-running SR, S14, wide-bodied nightmare car what do you think no no there was a really nice one that we saw a few episodes ago for about the same price maybe cheaper i want to say it was eighteen thousand, and it was running driving and and was good yeah got the license plate in the windshield yeah that's a sign of an idiot right there yes sir Hood pins are cringe as fuck it's got the especially quick release. especially with oh the cotter pin with like the retaining yeah wire the thing. fucking the the scratch of fire nine thousand yeah like what the fuck is wrong with you dude the, like nineteen sixties style yeah wow you have you have a, a hood wrap that's like the pants girls used to wear two years ago <laughs> super fucking in vogue dude <laughs> it does it, it does look like the um, leggings yeah yeah those galaxy leggings that that yeah. girls used to wear yep all right well this car sucks here is a 1991 240sx le fastback six hours ago twenty one thousand dollars charlotte north carolina hundred forty thousand miles car was painted in 2021 after being rear-ended has a salvage title it's a twenty one thousand dollar s13 Whoa. with a salvage title and a ka a kat in it and a welded diff of course it okay you know Without looking at the at the right side of the screen, without looking at the price or anything, oh, god damn those stickers fucking kill it. <laughs> that I mean, exhaust that, that kills shit it scrapes too. off, dude. But still, like you can't sell, you can't put a twenty one thousand dollar car up and expect someone to be impressed with your f- stickers. That's true. Ignoring the stickers, which I'm capable of doing, this is a fine looking pig nose S13. The, the 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 front bumper looks looks weird though. If you go back to like that first video, there's uh, there's something strange about it i don't know oh, there's like a bunch of flake in the in the black on the it no it looks too smooth like the it's line missing is the missing indention. yeah the indent it's missing the, yeah uh, the stripe is missing but you can see I like the, indent the i like here. the wheels i don't know man twenty one thousand dollars for a salvaged s13 that's yeah with, with a crazy. kat like get the get, get the fuck out of here dude like you could buy it we're beating a dead horse you know but you could you could buy no. a lot better and you could definitely build a lot better and build it exactly how you want it. I can scroll down and I can see, well, it's got 230,000 miles on it, but this is nine grand for a stock. And S13. it's still not salvage title. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. I'll take a $200,000 clean title, 200,000 mile clean title. Yeah. I don't want one that's been rear-ended, especially in 2021. How well was that put back together? You know, like... 
Mm-hmm. Insurance didn't pay a dime of that. That came entirely out of this guy's pocket. Yeah, they went they went straight to fucking Jorge to take care of that. Here is a 1991 Nissan 240SX SE Fastback, 4,500 bucks, six hours ago, Bethlehem, Georgia, 156,000 miles. And by the way, if you're looking for a 240SX, check out collectorcarfeed.com slash cars. That's where we found all the listings we're looking at here today. Uh, 156,000 miles. Project car, S14KA, JIC Magic coilovers front, and of course, Tane coilovers in the rear. Five uh, five lugs swapped, a bunch of bullshit, who cares? I always um, call them Jick Magic. I always thought it was JIC. You let us know in the comments. Yeah, how do you say it? Because the thing is, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that you haven't really said out loud. Oh, yeah. You know? Absolutely. Ton- I mean, every time that we come across a Japanese company, this conversation happens, <laughs> basically. Like anytime either of us says any brand out loud, there will be a conversation of, is that the right way to say that? Because yeah. <laughs> it's just, just how it is. This, this car, I mean, sucks. D- <laughs> I had a little bit of hope for it at the beginning, but the seat somehow has some kind of ringworm on it. The seats are wild. Yeah. <laughs> Missing the door panels. Both sides. Green app, Crown Royal Green Apple Shift boot. No, this is just, it's an absolute mess. This is complete crap. You could, and, and beat another dead horse, 4500 bucks will buy you a hell of a lot nicer shell than this thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's got a K sitting in it. I, I wouldn't condone paying 4000 5000 for a shell, which seems to be going right now, but you could get a lot nicer shell for four to 5000 This is OBO. Go deep on that OBO if you're, if Go you're deep thinking about on going it, on yeah. this one. Because this thing like is you really need heat. to be like laughing at him, <laughs> like shaking your head every time you you look at anything on the car. Yeah, like Jesus, can you believe it? And like everything, everything you see, stupid, be like, was that previous owner? Was that the previous <laughs> owner? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do this, did you? Yeah, oh, did, no. that was a previous owner, right? Jesus, previous owner must have been a fucking idiot for doing this. <laughs> Sup, it's neck gear. Trying to talk some shit? Discord.gg slash feed. Let's talk some shit, bitch. This is 2700 oh, bucks. 1992 <laughs> Nissan 240SX. Selling my 1992 Nissan 240SX was in the middle of a full restoration, but I have too many projects to do. Have to let one go. I have everything for the car except a few things, but most important things are there to put back. Thanks for saying nothing. Um. Yeah. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. There's... It's uh, it's rolling right now, but with a little bit of love and time, it will run. And it's twenty seven hundred bucks in Watsonville, California, and I'm assuming it's this one. But this Who is knows? the only picture. Doesn't even care. It's like you're not even trying to sell this thing. But for twenty seven hundred, it's still probably a better deal than the other one. Yes. <laughs> Hit this guy up before that other guy. 1989 Nissan 240SX, six thousand dollars two months ago in Flowery Branch, Georgia, with one two three four five six. Looking to trade uh, for nice NBs or a Cat Eye V8 single cab or a 335i or Super Parts. Well, this is probably gone by now. Interior is really nice. I don't know what these seats are out of. Uh, Prelude. Yeah, I have no idea. Fourth gen Prelude seats, maybe. Really flat. Nice. Got mm-hmm. intake made out of electrical tape. Classic. I just wanted to look at the paint. The green's really neat, but we're not really getting well, for any. Six, for $6,000, that's better than, than the other one all day. Yeah, but he is firm on that price. Oh, and it has 352,000 miles on the oh, dash. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't know, man. Bought it from a lady that had it for the last 23 years. Cranks right up. Maintenance pretty well. No issues. Just needs TLC. Runs great. Only bad thing is the paint, and it is automatic. So this guy got in over his head and he's trying to dump it now. Well, he probably he probably got it like he thinking that that thinking that he had a gold mine, you know, and, and realized he had a copper mine. Yeah. He just wants to spend more time with that NA that you can see right yeah. there. And that's fine. Yeah. There's a super in there too. Was there? Yeah, in the driveway picture. He did say he wanted super parts. That was a Mark right V right there, yeah. Yeah. Sheesh. Well, good luck to that guy. That green is really neat. Is that juniper green? Juniper green metallic, is that right? Fuck, I don't know. Sounds That sounds like a Japanese name. You love watching us look at busted 240s, but now at collectorcarfeed.com slash cars, you can play the home game. Browse hundreds of recent 240SX listings from Facebook Marketplace without the hassle of using Facebook Marketplace. When you search collectorcarfeed.com slash cars for Facebook 240SX listings, you will only see Facebook 240SX listings. No algorithm, no Altimas, no bullshit. That's collectorcarfeed.com 
slash cars. Back to the video. Here's a 1993 Nissan 240SX, $9,000, 22 hours ago in Alpharetta, Georgia, 200,000 miles automatic transmission, 93 240SX hatchback, all original, no modifications, KA24DE, car runs and drives great with no mechanical issues, all features work as they should, cosmetically, the car has usual wear and tear, consistent with being 30 years old, price is firm, no trades, unless it is worth more than my asking price. Manual transmission will be included with the sale price. Oh, nice. As uh, well as other extra parts. So $9,000, 200,000 miles, completely original black S13 Chuki. Yeah, this is nice. This is, ugh. <laughs> Seat covers are terrible. Yeah. But you work this dude for like seven grand. Come with seven grand cash and put it on the table and say, look, dude, I'll, I'll get this car right now. No bullshit. $7,000 and, and I'll get it out of your hair. It's a whole lot of red on that front bumper. It's got to be a repaint. At least the bumper. The rest of it does look pretty original. Like, that doesn't look like it's been resprayed ever. Yeah. It has the pinstripe. Yeah. Nine grand. Crack dash. It it's, doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad, dude. Here's an 89 240SX SC Fastback three weeks ago in Homer Glen, Illinois for 14 grand, 90,000 miles. Tossing up the idea of selling my clean title 89 Nissan 240SX fast, uh, hatchback. This is the cleanest 240SX you'll ever see in the Midwest. Not a single particle of rust on this car. It sat in a climate-controlled garage for 17 years and is well taken care of. If you want a detailed mod list, message me. Interested in trades like a 350Z, 370Z, Evo, or anything boosted that's either rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. No Subies, no civics. And he wants 14k. And oh, Nismo. I was like, what is that? What oh, is yeah, that? It's, it's, freaking... just a, it's a like... really bad Nismo stencil. Yeah. Because at first I was like, N I what? Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. Now let's go back to the engine. Okay. <laughs> it's a fake intercooler. <laughs> yeah. Is it the bottom of this gigantic radiator? No, 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 no. Because that radiator is is further up. Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know what I mean? That like that that's way behind where the bumper is. Yeah, no, what should be sticking out the bottom is like the um like the the heater core the condenser. or something, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the AC, AC condenser. condenser. Yeah. What? <laughs> Cuz that's not a stock AC condenser either. Is that the condenser? <laughs> no, that's like a front mount intercooler. <laughs> oh, what a what a I can't say it though. Well, it, I mean, the counter's in days, so, I mean, you just, you just have a free pass yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. This whole day's a wash. <laughs> what Jesus. the fuck, man? And then he put the, the Nissan emblem on the nose like a fucking idiot. I gotta be different. They didn't do this, so I have to do it to make my car different from the other cars. All right, well, I'm sad that I clicked on this. Moving on, here is a... I know, I'm glad. I'm glad we looked at it. <laughs> Here's a 93 240SX convertible, $6,000, listed a week ago in Memphis, Tennessee. Trade $8,000 in value or cash $6,000. Is there jewels around the fucking headlight? I th Oh. The crystals? Oh, uh, yeah, it kind of looks like it's been bedazzled. Remember remember when AutoZone had a ton of those crystal auto accessories? Yeah. Like, I, I, they were trying to go for girls, I guess. Yeah, that didn't work out. And they ended up on a lot of Altimos for some reason. <laughs> Um, I guess this is just the evolution of the LED headlight. Now we've also got like an LED ring around the outside, like a like an angel eye. Oh, it's a it's not a super high hey. dude. It's a limited edition. Yeah, yeah. That 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 was the that was the convertibles. It's been five speed swapped. It's been five speed swapped. Yeah. All right. But those are all the pictures, and it looks pretty whack. It's a convertible. It the, the front end does not line up for shit. It's a carbon 6, fiber hood, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't. Have, no, no. I think it's just painted black. Yeah, because look, the other cars, the other part of the car is black. Yeah. I think it was just that hood. I see, I just, I see some lines right here. I'm not sure. Well, either way, this sucks. All of this sucks. Yeah. Like, this guy's a complete coper. 200,000 miles on it. Bunch of shit. Who cares? Oh, it is a real carbon fiber hood. Told you. Count it. Some cool looking shit down here in the recommends. I keep looking down here and this Forerunner looks pretty sweet. A lot of 200,000 mile plus 240 SX. 97, keep dude. Oh, what's up? What's good with that fridge? Let's go with that Del Sol dog. A little too purple for me. I already got a purple yeah, car. I don't need to. I couldn't to. do it. This is even little more mini purple. Baby Barney car. <laughs> I could do a Del Sol. I don't think I could do this Del Sol. Although for 2,500 bucks, what's going on here? Shelling my night. Okay, we're, we're done. Wait, did he just misspell selling or shelling my 95 shelling. Del Sol? Shell. Will not have motor or transmission. Okay, now we're done.
97 240SXSE 15 weeks ago in Clarksville, Tennessee, 225,000 miles. Respectfully, gentlemen and women, have your funds, transportation, permission, intentions figured out prior to contacting me. Please. Factory 5-speed with original engine and transmission. I added a shift knob, the wheels, and the Nissan OEM lip. I will revert back to 100% original prior to sale. I can provide the VIN to anyone interested. This is a great driver car to start or start to whatever build you want to go with. I did install a new clutch and other preventative maintenance items in 2018. I don't have time to nurture 30 dialogues in Messenger to weed out the 1-3 to three serious parties. Please don't contact me unless you're really serious. I'm entertaining any and all unusual and unique unique trades thanks 350z wheels which i think look good on it it's got the track wheels and i think those look pretty sharp yeah i don't like those wheels but i i i think they look good in this situation you know they fit the s14 pretty well it's a good looking car 225,000 miles think he's probably right about right about where he needs to be maybe a little on a little high because of the mileage but yeah it is a real cokey five speed lightly muscled airbag well, it's otter mode got an otter mode s14 airbag there that's not yeah. so bad mr regular f- that airbag dude he's a f- perv overall it's a fine car i think someone will buy it i think it's i'd love i'd love to have it you know yeah fully sent drift club 1989 nissan 240sx se coupe twenty seven thousand five hundred dollars in oviedo florida two days ago a nine thousand miles Oviedo? Not sure I pronounced that one. LS3 swapped S13, full FD legal cage, tube front and rear, Sylvia front end. Where to start? This thing has been getting rebuilt for the past two years. All brand new bushings, new brakes, new fuel pump and filter, lines, etc. LS3 was just refreshed with a rebuilt head, like 10 miles on it since the refresh. Painted by the GOAT, Ray Vargas of V86 Customs, or is V86 Customs? I couldn't tell ya. The wiring throughout the car isn't clean or organized, but it works well, so I'm leaving it as such. And then there's a parts list. The car is by no means perfect. It needs to be cleaned up on the inside. Could use a new dash, better organized wiring. Headlights need to be resealed. The fans for the radiator need to be secured. And the plexiglass on the back could be a lot better. All minor things compared to other 240s I've seen listed in this price range. Mm. Currently on hold... Uh, currently on an old tune, and I will be working with HP tuners to update the tune for the refreshed motor before selling. Runs and drives fine, just kind of rich. Serious buyers can message me for running videos or a breakdown of the parts that went into the motor or any other details that I missed. Oviedo, Florida. $27,000 this motherfucker wants. Yeah. For, for a fucked up drift car. No, dude, it's a turnkey drift car, bro. You can go pro in this thing. Yeah. 10 miles on a build is a huge red flag. Yeah. And he has the f-ing girl legging door panels. <laughs> uh, bro, that was like 2019, man. It's over. Yeah, there was a like a BMW M6 convertible that used to drive around that was completely wrapped in that with like a 19 year old broccoli hair driving it around the time you just said, like right before COVID. Like, and then it was stupid to look at, you know? Yeah. Like, what a, what a trend. Ugh. A uh, single S symbol on YouTube says it perfectly. I wouldn't fuck it with your dick. Yep. Nailed and it. that's actually what I say. So I actually said that. Imagine if it was fully scent, but like S-C-E-N-T. Oh, like they smell? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like there was, it was like, and then there's like a picture of a foot. Yeah. What if it was like bully scent and then it was like an angry, like Sundere girl? <laughs> yes if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit like hit subscribe if you haven't because we have more content coming three times a week which includes ns chassis report every wednesday check out collectorcarfeed.com slash store for that all new wrx inspired vape sticker collectorcarfeed.com slash cars where you'll find our facebook marketplace search tool to make your 240sx hunt a little easier patreon.com slash collectorcarfeed is where you go for bonus content or just click whatever's on your screen right now to keep watching and we will see you next time. This is Feed for the S Chassis Report saying good night and good luck.